nothing is liable to send the potting shed air bluer than machinery that don't work. Here's a go. Sounding like uh, an old granddad. Years ago, you used to have to tie everything up with a bit of string. These days, we do it all with uh, one of these. This is what we call a max tapener. You click it open, and then you just... Bloody marvellous, isn't it? I have to have glasses on now for stuff like that. So there you go, Max Tapener, brilliant. Except I've never known at all so prone to breaking or getting stuck. We get through about three of these a year, but they save us hours and hours and hours. You can buy them online, bloody brilliant. Anyway, the point of this video is a little thing about common names and uh, just uh, to explain something. And we're going to deal with wedding cake trees. Chelsea Flower Show, it's just been and gone, and I must have had a dozen or more people on the phone. Have you got a wedding cake tree? Well, what do you call a wedding cake tree? Well, I don't know, it's just a wedding cake tree, they say. So I say, uh, right, is it a cornice? No, 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 it's a wedding cake tree. Is it a viburnum? No, it's a wedding cake tree. Oh, um, what will it cost? So I say, well, if it's a viburnum, it'll cost a tenner. If it's a cornice, it'll cost anything between, I don't know, 30 quid for a reasonable sized plant and uh, 200 for a big one. So I say, oh, that's a lot of money. I say, well, it's a lot of plant and a lot of work. Anyway. First of all, you've got to identify what the bloody hell it is they're talking about. So let's have a look at wedding cake trees. And then it might clear it up. And I won't get frustrated. The older I get, the more bloody grumpy and frustrated I get. Bosey bastards. Now, this here is what I call a wedding cake tree. This is Cornus Controversa Variegata. Very dramatic thing. We've looked at it before in other videos. You can see it has these tabulated layers. This one now is just coming into flower. These are frothy heads. They're not fully out yet. Very, very dramatic. We're blowing a bit of a hooli here at the moment. It's very windy. This here is a plant. Now this one is in a 100 litre pot. I would want about 200 pounds for that one. There are some smaller ones down here in say 15 litre pots, I would want probably 30, 35 quid for one of those. But that tree there is absolutely amazing. But that is Cornus Controversa Variegata, as I've already said, and that is sometimes called the wedding cake tree, or occasionally the pagoda tree. And in my home garden, this is another more mature, Alternifolia, that's Cornus Alternifolia, Argentia Variegata. I've lifted the skirt slightly, slightly on this because uh, I need to grow things underneath it. But again, often called the wedding cake tree. There is another thing called the wedding cake tree. This is Viburnum plicatum. Mauricii. Again, it has that tabulated look, layered effect. The flowers are not unlike uh, a lace cap hydrangea. 
can have a look here. The fact that they're born along the branches and they're sort of facing upwards just uh, accentuates the, the habit. They're not hanging in loose panicles. And of course this is easy to do from cuttings. It doesn't have to be grafted like the, like the cornice. So, you know, a reasonable specimen of that, about a tenner. In a garden centre, about 25 quid. Oh, that wasn't a very nice thing to say. So there you are. Uh, common names and the problems they present. I've always uh, been a bit sniffy about Chelsea. I'm not sure it's a gardening show. It's just where a lot of posh people tend to go to have a look. Or a lot of ordinary people go to see posh people having a look. I think it's more about decking and design and Stuff. Well, different folks, different strokes, as I say. I just grow the plants. In the end, that's what we do grow plants. What everybody else does with them is entirely up to them. Once they go out this garden gate, as long as they're healthy and well, I have absolutely no control over them. But I do like people to go out with the plant that they want. So if they can find out what the proper name is, we're 90% there. But that's about that. No, oh, bugger. Oh, look at that, I just spent bloody 10 minutes sharpening the bugger. <laughs>